Hello, fishing lure enthusiasts all around YouTube. I'm so glad you're here joining me today to make this segmented fishing lure. We're going to go in reverse order today just to switch things up. And I thought it might be cool to watch this lure become a piece of wood again. But already I'm confused by watching this myself. And so this may be the worst idea ever. But hang with me because in a little bit we're going to have a cut finger. It's as graphic as it possibly can be without being graphic at all. It's very strange. You'll see it in a little bit. Uh, you'll want to hang around for it. It might give you the willies. It gives me a little bit of the case of the gross outs. But you can handle it. It's not going to be too bad. There we go. This lure is going to have the best action of any lure I've ever made. It may be the best running lure in the history of fishing. I've not seen every lure in the world, but I cannot imagine anything looking fishier than this lure looks. You'll see it at the end. We're going to run it through a pond, and it has got a bad case of the wiggles. Pretty cool. Getting some hardware put in this thing. Takes a lot of hardware when you do these segmented lures. I'm not being as full of finesse as people like Marling Bates are when they when he makes lures like this. He uses a jig to cut it and it's perfect. All his angles are perfect. I'm kind of eyeballing stuff and then using sandpaper to be a little more forgiving. His is way better stuff, but mine gets done quicker. Putting a little baking soda in this, adding some weight, and then we put baking soda, and then we put a little super glue on there. Gets hard as a rock immediately. I put a little too much weight in this thing. It's a sinker. It doesn't sink super fast, but it does not float, does not suspend. It wants to sink, but that's okay. But I probably put a little too much weight in this bad boy. That was my wife's butter knife that I stole for putting baking soda in lures. Hey, we're back to one piece again. This is where I'm cutting these segments with my little saw. And it's really rough. They don't hit exactly perfect. This is what I was talking about a minute ago about how I should take my time more. I should use a jig. I should get this perfect, but you know, I'm probably going to throw it up in a tree anyway. So let's get her done. All right. We're about to have a cut finger in just a minute. So I want you to get ready. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in slow motion so you can see it in a minute. Cause it's, it's really just not that graphic. There is a little bit of the red stuff after I cut myself, but it's not terrible. But it's coming. This thing is so slippery. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ay -yi -yi. Here we go. The saw gets kind of jammed up in there. It flexes a little. I push a little. It runs to the top of my finger. And I want to pass out and die. Are you okay? Did you make it through that? Yay. Look at this. Barely any blood until I touch it like that. And then there's a little bit of stuff that comes out of there. I'm sorry if you're squeamish, but I do have a Band-Aid. Let's get this baby first aided up and get back to work. Don't even feel that kind of thing anymore. Tough as nails. Go right back into it. Taking no safety precautions. Keeping on just cutting like a maniac. 
just about have this thing cut all the way through. You want to go one side and then the other. So you meet in the middle. Hey, we're back to one solid, solid piece. We're going to get this all the way back to the drawing. Put my lines on here to know where to cut. This little sander that I have, it does not work great. I always push the sandpaper off of it. There's got to be a better way to sand in those little crevices. And I know you can fold a piece of sandpaper and get down in there. I'm just not as detailed as I wish I were. But I do a lot of sanding. So we're going to sand a little bit here. This is a little bit confusing because the video is not backwards. It's just segments that are in reverse order. So it gets a little weird in places here. getting pretty rough I mean the wood is rough this looks like a Neanderthal was carving it whenever you go in reverse order like this but you see where we where we came from here I've got that one place on my hand that I cut every time I carve, so I've had to patch my glove up a little bit. Pretty much every one of my lures has a little bit of my blood, sweat, and tears, and raisins in it. I like to eat raisins while I'm working on this stuff. Trying to drop a few LBs, friends. Raisins are nature's candy. Sometimes I put grapes and raisins on the same paper towel, and it weirds me out a little bit. Always makes me wonder if those raisins are jealous of the good old days. <laughs> that made me laugh a little bit. All right, let's draw some eyes on this thing. Whoa, that looked like a that looked like a whole piece of wood almost, didn't it? That we started carving on. This is my favorite part of making a lure, of going from the blocky big piece of wood and knocking it down quickly, taking big hunks of wood off of stuff. I like that. I'm a lot more into that than I am the really fine details. I wish that I was a detailed guy. I just cannot. I just want to get it done. There we go. There was the picture. That's where I cut it out from the bandsaw. See, we've already kind of seen part of this. This it, it was a little hard to get my segments in the right order here, but you're patient people. You've made it almost nine minutes into this video. We're almost done, but... Um, I know you're patient because you're listening to me. Knocking a lot of wood off here. Hey, let's go to the drawing. I really struggle with that bottom lip on fish a lot of times. I'm not sure if that's the way they really look in nature, but that's the way they look in my head, and that's the way they always come out. We've almost got this baby drawn. Wish I was more artistic too. I got a little fancy. Put a couple little whirly gigs on it. But this is where it all started from. Now, let's take this thing out. See some action. Let's see how it runs. I've been bragging on it. Here we go. Just a little... You couldn't quite see it there, so check this out. Look at the swimminess of this thing. Wowzers. That is pretty fishy looking. I was very pleased with the way this lure ran. 
I think it's going to catch fish, and I think that you're the best for watching this.